What's up? What up, what up, what up? Sorry, that was, that was a bit much. No, what was a bit much was being at work today and <laughs> constantly getting texted about where we could go shoot tonight. <laughs> Listen, I needed an answer. This looks muddy. Oh, God. So we headed out Provo Canyon again. We're up at Deer Creek Reservoir and Shell has shot up here a lot in the past, but the water level is so high right now because we have gotten so much snow that all the places she used to shoot are underwater. <laughs> So it's gonna be an adventure. Yeah. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff. This is kind of <laughs> cool looking. It's still really pretty. I'm sure we're gonna find something. And what we kind of want to do today for you guys, you could tell them. So we came up here to do a fun little impromptu photo shoot with just the two of us before we lose some sun. Maybe some of little baby Lou too. Then I want to kind of go through my editing process and show you guys kind of how I edit and what I use. So stay tuned. Exciting! No, that's awesome. All right, we're gonna try and find a good spot here and set up before we lose some light. And like she said, we did bring little Louie along because it's always fun to get photos with him, but there's so many little stickers out here and they're sticking all over my shoes that I'm worried they're gonna get stuck all over his fur. All right, so if I'm being honest with everyone, I'm not too stoked on this location. Like it's a, it's a height, but it's not my favorite. But we're losing light, so we're just gonna try and make it work and see if we can get anything cool out of it. So wish us luck. Hopefully in the post-processing, I can make this look rad. Babe, will you go stand in place? <laughs> so you got any cargo in those pants? <laughs> what are we gonna do with all this cargo? Oh good, we have my pants, we're saved. I loved cargo pants back in junior high, 1990. Listen, if you like my five? pants, comment below. Don't comment. <laughs> cool pants, cool pants. They are cool. Go stand out there. All right, so we did a couple shots of just us. Hopefully some of them turned out, I don't know. Here, you guys can look through them with me really fast. But here's some pics. Here goes the drone. So who knows, we'll go through those when we get home. Hopefully we got some cute ones. Daniel's getting the drone up right now to get some cool shots of the lake. You guys, it is so cool right now because part of it is still frozen and then part of it is totally thawed. But in the frozen parts, there's like these little cracks almost. They look like dreams or rivers running through the middle of the lake. It's really cool. I know that doesn't sound like a good description. Not very good at describing things. I apologize for that, but just wait until you see it. You feel me? I'm working on my winking. <laughs> concentration it takes to fly the drone. It's not, take, it's not that hard. Don't let him fool you. I have asked him three questions and have not gotten a response. <laughs> <laughs> what were they? <laughs> Ooh. Look at the ice sheets. Look at that ice sheet. You can't tell, but that's a sheet of ice. Holy sheet. <laughs> Just kidding. Babe, look up. Wave. Hello! I know so many of you are wondering what I look like without a hat. I'm literally walking through mud and stickers and they're sticking to my cargo pants. 
and my shoes. My shoes are leather, so they're actually not sticking to them too bad, but the shoes are gonna need a good wipe down because they're covered in mud. So normally when I come out here, we walk through these trees. This is kind of eerie back here. We walk through these trees that you can see all around me. And then there's like another, I don't know, 100 yards worth of land area that you walk down until you get to the water. But now, because we have gotten so much snow this year, right when the trees end, okay, I can't go further, this is pure mud. Right when the trees end, there's water. Look at this. And there's the lake right there, and the trees end right here, and there's a lake. Like what? Kind of crazy, but kind of cool. I mean, I'm happy to see that we've gotten a lot of water. Hopefully that means a good wake surfing summer. I'm gonna go get Louie, but we feel kind of bad because he is a white fluffy dog, and if we bring him out here, he's gonna get covered in mud, A, and B, in those little stickers. Mud is easy to wash off, but those stickers, when they get in his curly coat of hair, it's just like it's terrible news for everybody. So I don't think we're gonna let him run around and play because he's just gonna be a covered sticker mess and I apologize that I literally have not looked at the camera once as I've been walking because <laughs> I'm trudging through mud. Look at Daniel's shoes. Look at that. Ow. And his pants. He's so scary. Ready. Yui say hi. Yui show everyone your bow tie. See I look so handsome. I got my bow tie. There it is. It's a little too big for me. He's not going to want to take photos. He's going to run around and sniff everything. Well, another photo shoot in the books. Hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of seeing our photo shoots because I gotta be honest, we're not sick of doing them. We kind of love it. <laughs> Gets us out as a family. Plus we're able to get some fun, cool memories and photos for us that we get to have forever and like print and put in our home and just cherish. Like obviously I'm in the field, but I just love photos so much. I'm such a photo person. Yeah, and today was special because we don't usually bring Lou to our shoots, so it's fun to get photos with him. He's kind of hard at photo shoots because he gets very, very curious like any puppy would. It's fun whenever we have him because he just makes the picture so much cuter. Yeah. All right, we're out of here. We're going to go home and edit up some of these photos and Shell is going to give you a few pointers. And eat some food. Yeah, I need some food. <laughs> We don't agree on everything. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming this is recording my screen right now. It's the first time I've ever done this, so I truly have no idea. So I am using India Earl's Honey Preset. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with India Earl. If you're not, I highly recommend looking her up. She is serious photography goals, and she's honestly amazing. So she has a new Honey Preset that is incredible and it's super versatile and that's one of the reasons that I love it so much is because you can tweak it to make it into anything that and everything that you would ever want out of a photo. So we will start there. Um, okay so as you can see this is a little too warm and orangey for me so I am going to drop the temperature just a little bit. I kind of have to like tweak things a little bit to get them the way that I want them. So drop the highlights a little bit. If you drop the highlights, you can get a little bit more of the pretty mountains showing in the back and the sun flare. If we drop them, if you kind of do things all the way, you can kind of see what things do. Um, so this is what I do a lot in Lightroom. I'm not very good at explaining things. I apologize in advance for that. In Lightroom, you kind of just have to play around with the sliders a lot just to see what they do. So if you lower the shadows, you can see what that does. Raise them, you can see what that does. I feel like these greens here are, here are a little bit distracting. So I'm going to take the hue a little bit more towards the yellow side to kind of tone them down. See if we like that a little bit. I feel like our faces are a little too orangey. So raise the luminance just a little bit and take down the saturation just a little bit. That's personally how I do it. Everyone has different preferences, obviously. Kind of dying over little Louie's tongue right here. Look how cute the little bitty is. Oh, he's so sweet. He's just a sweetie. He's just a sweetie. 
Straighten out the photo a little bit. It's honestly pretty straight. I like to bring it down, crop it just a little bit. Anybody that knows good old Instagram crops all the photos that you post, unfortunately. Here, we wanna try and make sure our skin tones are looking realistic. We don't want to have any like super orange skin or super yellow skin. Mastering skin tones, I will tell you, is one of the hardest things. You can see I kind of toggle back and forth like this a lot. So that just shows the before, the after. So I kind of go back and forth just to see what it's like. Ooh, look, it's you. You look, you're in your photo. So there you have it, the finished product. Here is the before and the after with some tweaks that I have made. Um, so like I said, I used India Earl's Honey Preset. I highly recommend if you're interested in photography. Um, she has a great preset that she sells and it comes with an incredible educational pack that goes through and teaches you how to use it on like basically every photo or every type of lighting that you would be shooting in. I feel like everybody has their own opinions on presets and using presets. I personally like to use them because I feel like they speed up the editing process. I definitely don't think that people should use presets as like a one click filter edit because I don't think that's what they're intended to be. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, let us know. Bye.